to my channel so for today's tutorial i'm going to be using bobby boss brin in the color 1b so to begin with this style i'm just going to go ahead and part out my heart shape bang for the swoop um and i'm gonna leave like all the clips in of me parting it because i literally just did like two curved parts and then i just like cleaned them up until i kind of got like the desired shape that i want um and i'm also going to i'm doing this first so that i can basically like section that um bang part off and i wanted to make sure like that it was a good amount of hair and that it was able to tuck behind my ear because all of that is important so it was just easier for me to just start with that part first and once i've got the bang that i wanted i'm gonna braid it um just to keep that hair separate so that i don't have to keep like redoing the part To define my part even more I went in with my tweezers and I didn't pluck like the whole part but there were like a few hairs that were in the way so I plucked the part um, to define it a little more and then I cut off the lay um, where I sprayed along my hairline and after this step this is when you want to um, tie down your elastic band once your wig exactly where you want it to so immediately after that step i went in to start doing my baby hairs and you can do this without baby hairs um i just i prefer baby hairs, so i went in and separated like a small section of baby hairs i only had like three total so i sectioned the hair um and then i just kind of clipped my hair out of the way and then i went on to swoop my baby hairs i basically did my baby hairs off camera but i just wanted to include um, this portion that I did re record, I just kind of trimmed them down and then I went in with my wet line extreme gel to swoop them. I'm gonna go ahead and unbraid my bang and kind of like swoop that across my forehead and just see how it looks and see how well it tucks behind my ear. And if I need to like take away any hair, or add any hair. And at this point, I'm just kind of like playing with the bang and like combing it and smoothing it out just to make sure that it like lays flat against my forehead and there's no like lumps or bumps in it or anything like that and once i've got it exactly how i want it to be i'm just gonna bobby pin it right behind my ear if you wanted this bang to last a little bit longer i definitely would recommend going back in with that adhesive um that ebon adhesive spray and spraying your bang so that it's kind of like hard and it's kind of like molded um in that position in that swoop i wasn't keeping this style for valentine's day so that's why i didn't use any spray but if you were looking for that hold i recommend um either that or mousse and then once i've got the bang where i want it i'm just gonna go ahead and pin pin the hair in place and then i unclipped the rest of my hair and i just went through and detangled it with my bent brush So this is how the style is looking so far. It's pretty much done, but I did want to like add a few more touches. I felt like it could be a little bit flatter on the top. So next I went in with my wax stick and my curling wand and I just kind of put that around the part and then I just went through with my curling wand just to kind of like flatten that out and just to, you know, tame any flyaways or anything like that. And immediately after I use the curling wand, I am gonna go in with my comb and just kind of comb through that wax and just like lay down any flyaways and smooth everything out. Next to define my part, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee. And I'm just gonna apply that to the heart shape part um, using a brush. You don't have to add concealer to your part because the scalp, the fake scalp that the wig comes with, it's pretty natural looking, but I wouldn't mind to pop a little bit more. So you guys, this is the finished look. I really like how this came out and I feel like this is a very affordable style for Valentine's Day. I also would, um, if you don't like the fake scalp, you can cut it out. I didn't mind it, but if you were wanting to like pluck the hairline or anything like that, it would be difficult to disguise the fake scalp that's underneath. So that's another thing that um, 
I will say is a con about this wig. But other than that, this is my second time ordering it. And I still think the wig is very pretty. And I love how this style came out. Let me know what you guys think of this style in the comments below. I will also link this wig in the description box. So make sure you check that out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.